Hello and welcome to lesson three of the uh, Game of Life. And in this lesson, we're going to look at graphs and we're going to learn about how to visualize data. And we're going to learn how to produce graphs. So I have got an example here what, uh, I'm going to show you. And just to begin with, all graphs must have a title, labels, axis labels, be pleasing to the eye, make the, da the data must be easier to understand than just look at the data itself. And the type of graph needs to be suitable for the type of data. So if we go sheets here, we've got three sets of data. And let's just select uh, the this one here with the uh, animals, the number of animals here, and the number of animals I perhaps own. And I'm going to go to insert. And there are lots of different graphs we can have. And if I choose the bar chart, it'll show me what they look like over here. It'll do 3D, very pretty ones. It'll do uh, bar, column, 3D column bar, 3D uh, bar. But sometimes uh, sometimes people just choose the 3D or the ones that actually look really pretty uh, like these just, just because they want them to look all fancy and pretty. And all. But sometimes the best ones are the most simplest because it tells you the data. Um, there are other ways of doing it, of course, if I choose a line graph, like here, it will then put it all line. But of course, that wouldn't make sense because line graphs use continuous data and each of these categories are has no relation. Okay, uh, they're all separate. Whereas the temperature, there is a relation to each of these, the time, so you would have a line graph. I'm going to delete that and we'll choose a bar chart. Now when I load this up, I've got my uh, my chart here, but of course the axis at the side isn't right, so I need to select it, right click, and we uh, format major grid lines. And we can go over to the major grid lines and over here we should we could change the colors and the sizes here. Um, if I go to value, vertical value, and we click on the graph, we should be able to see, there we go, axis label here. Minimum zero, which is fine. Maximum 4.5. Well, we know the maximum is four, but we can change this to five, perhaps. And it says the major units goes up in 0.5. Well, I'd rather it go up in ones because you can't get a 0.5 of an animal. Um, then we click on this arrow here. We can add a better title here so we can change the title. So um, animals I own on my farm. We can then go down here and we can look for horizontal uh, or maybe we want to look for um, the uh, so if I just go back there's another way we can go add chart we can add axis titles we can put primary horizontal we can put primary vertical and I can put type of animals and at the side here I can then put number of animals. So I've now put on here the, uh, I've now labeled this up and I put, um, I've got presentable. Let's have a go at the temperature over here. So I'm going to select all the data 
and we're going to make this a line graph. So again, we're going to click on the line and it's a line. But when I do this, I've got two lines. One is temperature, which is absolutely fine. The temperature goes up and down. And the other here is this blue line, which is the time. Well, I don't want time on here. Time should be at the bottom. So I'm going to remove this. And all I'm going to do is select temperature and the values and go insert and temperature. So we've got this on here. We've got our, our vertical axis, which is 0 to 70, which is fine. And our, our horizontal axis, which is going 1 to 7. We should be 0246. So if I click on this, right click, and we can select data. And if I go to the right one and edit, I can then select the values in the time. I don't need to select time, I just need to select the values, press OK, press OK again, and it'll put down 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. I can then add some, um, go to add chart element in the chart design, axis title, and we can put horizontal and then vertical. And I can put down the bottom, this will be time. And on the side, I can put down temperature. And at the very top, I can then put down temperature. Um, average temperature of um, Bangkok, for example. Okay, Bangkok, Thailand. And we've got this one here. The next one, we want to do some math here. This is a bit trickier. Um, and just to just something about a reminder in terms of formulas, there are different types. There's addition, there's subtraction, there's multiplication, there's uh, division. And so for addition, it's the plus. For subtraction, it's the minus. For multiplication, it's the times. And then division, it's this one here. And for an example, I can just say equals 3 plus 3 gives me 9, 6. So an example here. For subtraction, it would be something like equals 6 minus 3. Okay. For multiplication, it would be like 3. 3 times 3, like that. And for division, it would be equals uh, 12 divided 4, like that. And you can even add, let's say, you want you want to do a bit of bid mass. You want, let's say, so if you want something to come first, so I can maybe do equals, open bracket, I want to do 3, add 4, close bracket, times 2, it will do 3 times 4 is first, well, uh, 3 and 4 is 7, times 2 is 14, like so. Now coming back over to here, I know that uh, the, um, not x, but y equals x cubed 3, Okay, so I need to put this formula equals x shift and 6 to make the cube, the little arrow pointing up, and then 3, so I need to 3 to the power of, uh, basically I'm saying that's to the power of 3, and then that will say this, and then I can just drag it down like so, and I'll put it like this. And again, if I do the same again as I did before, so highlight all these cells, go to the um, thing, it'll put something like this. But I don't want the X marked on there, okay? 
So I, all I need to highlight is the Y. And I click and it will put the Y on here. And again, I need to select the middle one and then set the data, edit, and make sure I select the values of X. Okay, and I'll change the values of X. I can then add an X as title for both X axis title, and like so. So you know this is Y, and this is X, and our title will be uh, X. Uh, y equals x to the power of 3, like so. Okay. Another graph you might do would be a pie chart. So I might highlight this, go to insert, and there's pie chart. Again, there are uh, lots of different colorful and pretty ones, but again, I like the simple. Simple is good. And the thing is with pie charts, you can... Um, Again, you want to add titles, but I don't like it when it's got the key down the bottom. So perhaps over here, we can then change this. So either I want it to the right or to the left or the bottom. I suppose want it on the right. Or maybe if you don't want it, um, I, can, I can actually just delete it. So I can actually just delete it. And if I so desire, I can click. And we can put values on. So if I just right click here, so if I just delete that, right click, and um, add data, data labels. So click, I've got the data labels on there. So if I want to add that, let's just click over here. I can change the values. Oops. Yeah, select it. Um, so maybe I don't want the values. I can add, uh, not the labels, maybe I can add the category names. So it puts the category names around here. I can change the percentage, like so. I can play around with this, okay? Your task is to download and open up Lesson 3 Science, Math and Graphs. There are lots and lots of different sets of data, okay? That I want you to have a go at. It gets harder as you go through. And I want you to have a go and complete the challenges in front of you. So for example, the first one to plot a bar chart of population versus country. And the second one to plot a line graph of date versus minimum temperature. I will never go at this. Good luck and I'll see you next time.